on the last episode of Pretty and Paid. What's pop, lock, and dropping, honeys? In my last episode, I took y'all with me to the Future concert. I was backstage VIP. You know my girls are plugged in. I also showed y'all my downtown Dallas apartment, and I introduced y'all to my new Louis. I did a little bit of shopping at Big Lots before I went out of town, my new home away from home. I showed y'all my new apartment, and girl me shoving a burger down my throat and getting settled in. It was pretty dope. I love the vibe, but girl, let's go ahead and get into this new episode. This pussy got power, stay in it for hours Yeah, I get what I want, he don't tell me no These bitches, they hate me, these niggas, they love me Hey girl, so I just got to Walmart Um, In the state that I came to, I only brought cash Mainly because I got a new bank and they didn't send me my card yet It takes 10 business days for them to send me my card So, um I am just going to I opened up a new bank account where they give you same day cards and I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this cash that I brought into there because I hate carrying cash on me and I also have to get a money order um, so I could finish the payment process of moving in of course I was supposed to have the money order to them this morning but I had to wait till 10 because I the key so they finally gave me um, hold on girl let me close this box Remember how they gave me the wrong key to my door? Well, I went today and they gave me the right key for my door. Um, bien. And, uh, what else? Yeah. So they weren't tripping about me not having them the money order. Because <coughs> originally on the phone they were like, if you don't have us the money order by the morning when we open, we're going to have to penalize you because it'll be late. And I got there today like, you know, basically, y'all can't penalize me for anything because I couldn't even lock my door to leave. Even though I did leave, girl, to get a lot of stuff. But, you know, can't like can't leave from then. And then I didn't. The banks open at 8, but they don't open till 10. So, whatever. But, girl... Let me go deposit this money and I'll see y'all in the Y'all ever just sit in the rain and just think? So today is day four or five of moving in. I should have caught it, but um, the maintenance people just left. Girl, the hot water heater was broken. The gas. This is a gas apartment. My second apartment is a gas apartment. Um, and I've never had a gas apartment before. So, I've been without hot water for four days. I took a cold bath um, the other day. Like a little bird bath. Because I don't like to take cold showers. So, I just kind of was throwing the water up at me. But they just came in and fixed it. So, um, he said to give it like 30 minutes. So, I'm going to give it 30 minutes. And then get in the shower because I need to get myself together. Like, look at me, sis. No. I said no. I said no, no, no. My I need to wash my hair. I need to go buy a blow dryer. I did not buy a blow dryer. I don't know why. Definitely need to go get me a blow dryer. Uh, I wasn't expecting to wash my hair while I was out here. I was thinking that I was going to go back home because I have two blow dryers at the house. And so I was going to just grab my blow dryer from there. And then when I come back out bring it here I think that's the hot water heater there um but yeah and I love this candle I think I already showed her this candle but I love this candle so much it smells so good I think I got it from the dollar general I'm not even sure I'm gonna blow it out though I mainly had it lit because I was getting faded girl I was smoking some herb and the maintenance people knocked on the door so I hurried up and I lit some sage and um, and I lit my candle but I'm definitely gonna blow that out because that candle's for like company when they come over. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and go shopping for some furniture because girl, I ain't got no furniture up in here. We are on the floor. Nice <laughs> What's pop lock and dropping, honey? I'm headed. Just got finished getting dressed. Bam. 
I'm about to go and um, get me some bar stools because girl, I ain't got nothing to sit on in here but my <gasps> air mattress. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna come back. Girl, I'm sipping on me some box wine. Hello. It's not that bad. It tastes like the wine that you get drink at the nail salon. Huh. But come through here. I curled it. Cause girl, I was looking a little nappy. And when I get back to Dallas, I'm gonna take them out and actually relay them. I wanna do a middle part. Um, I was watching this girl's vlog and she had this pretty middle part. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna do me a middle part. That shit's pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Big Lots because it is 5 p.m. I'm not trying to catch all this traffic. I love my purse. Shout out, baby. I'm always getting compliments on this purse. Well, that's good. I'm trying to make this poster that I just put up. She's a vibe. I love it. And it goes cool with my table. And I'm gonna put another poster up there. these that I got from I think I got them from Walmart they're better than thumbtacks they're like velcro I like it it's easy Nice up there, don't he? Let's go with the table. Heaven sent you to me. Hey, babe. I got back from the Dollar Tree. I'm about to open up these batteries and put them inside of this table. I got Energizer double A and AAA batteries. I'm hoping I got the right ones. I kind of forgot when I was there what I needed. Um, but these should work.
Yeah, now what does this do? colors look table vibe you know let's go and the balls blow up when you go like this I just gotta hold it on there and see if I can make it oh shit I forgot it's a technique you gotta bounce it girl you gotta go damn it Make it. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Sit down and eat noodles, girl. Chips, balling on a budget. I can't wait to get back to Dallas. I'm really not even trying to eat real fancy while I'm out here. I'm eating healthy. I mean, even though this isn't healthy, but I'm eating decently. But I'm also doing that. So when I get back to Dallas, I'm gonna go out to eat somewhere real nice. It's gonna be. I can't wait to get back and eat some good food. But I'm not out here to spend too much money, so I'm trying to, you know, stack, stack, stack. 
I'm out here to get assets because I want to have assets in different states. Like I told y'all, when I get a boat, I'm going to get a truck out here and an RV. This is a, like a nice place to take my dogs like up in the mountains, camping and stuff like that. And my credit's really good. So I figured, you know, why not? Like that Ozark show kind of like inspired me a little bit. I was like, girl, I'm going to the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pooh. So, girl, it is day five of moving into my second apartment. Everything is coming together. Real cute. I'm loving this that I have over here. Somebody brought me some flowers. So sweet. Um, I got my little beer pong table. Like I said, this isn't luxury. I'm not here to live like I'm living in Dallas. It's literally going to be my little home away from home party house. And I got this, I love this cup I got yesterday from Spencer's, Boss, it says Boss on it. That shit dope. And then I got this Drink Monopoly game, got some liquor, and back here is, you know, what we got going. But I'm shooting off of my mini camera. Let me turn some lights on. I'm shooting off my mini camera because my Big camera is dead. I forgot to charge my battery last night. But I think I could still see me pretty good. Uh, you hear the microwave going off? I just warmed me up some noodles, girl. I'm about to twist this up and get my day started. Drink me a little water. Ooh, that water is flat. I like sparkling water. I got this cool sparkling water machine. I can't wait to show y'all. I know you just asked yourself, or you just put ice in your noodles? Y'all need to grow up putting ice in y'all's noodles because it'd be too hot. It's too hot, so you like how to put ice in it to cool it down. Because I don't want my noodles just to be sitting there waiting for it. Like, they, they get soggy in the water. So I put ice in mine to cool it down. And then I'll let it sit for a little bit. Don't ask me, bro, I don't know. Let me clean up this. My microwave, my noodles exploded, girl. I had them in there like for five minutes. I like it if they was me extra. I'm a better me when I'm on herb. But this, clean out your microwave, ladies.
girl, judge me. Judge me, judge me. Adult life with no kids. This is how it is. Adult life with no kids. I'm gonna start a series at adult life without kids. <laughs> girl, judge me if you want to. Girl, life is, life is difficult. Do you feel me? Like, I know I just woke up. I know I just ate some noodles for breakfast. I know I'm smoking a joint. But girl, check it. Like, I just got my second apartment. I'm about to have a lot of assets in different states. I'm going to be worn out. I gotta get it now. Because I can tell you this much, I'm not gonna be doing this in my 30s, period. My 20s are for me. I know people say, oh my God, you don't wanna have kids? Are you fertile, blah, 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 blah. Yes, girl, I'm fertile, very much so. Um, I have my period every month. <laughs> but no, I'm fertile. But um, I don't want kids right now because my 20s is for me. My 20s is for me to chase my dreams, achieve my goals, and make the best out of my life, the best that I can. I'm the baby right now, and that's why I don't have kids because I don't want kids right now. Kids are a blessing, kids are beautiful, but they also can wait. They're not going nowhere. They're with you for 18 years plus, because you know, I'm gonna be a good mama, so my kids are gonna be glued to my hip for the rest of their life. But I'm not ready for that right now. I have three dogs. I'm dating finally, you know what I mean? Like I've been dating for about a year now, but before it used to just be about money. So I'm dating without it being about money more so, you know what I mean? So I'm, and I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Well, hey honeys, what's poppin'? I'm chilling in my gray fit. About to get ready to go run some errands. I like this fit, it's cute. It's a cute little throw on, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I'm getting ready to head out. I just went and got the mail. I got both my new cards in the mail today. My Capital One card and my, um, other bank I have two different bank accounts so I got both of those in the mail today I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go deposit some money and take oh I can get my necklace on take the dogs this the bank that I have now is further out in North Dallas and they have a really nice knit lake by the bank that I have so I'm actually gonna take my dogs out there with me and take them to that lake um, so then go ahead and have them a nice experience today. And then I just have to run a few errands for the house, like get some napkins and little stuff like that. I think I'm gonna zip this jacket up or leave it open, I'm not sure. Um, but hold on, let me show you. I have my little list of, you know, things. Oh, if you can see that there's a glare. My little list of things that I have to do, you know. Um, so I go by that and then I just knock everything out. I really don't have, oh, there we go. I really don't have much to do today. Um, just simple errands and get, I already got all my little stuff packed up that I'm taking to my apartment, to my second apartment, like a TV, I'm a computer monitor and you know, just some stuff that I ordered from Amazon and my old purses I'm actually gonna take over there. Um, and this broom and just some st old clothes that I don't want here that I would wear out there. And just other mis miscellaneous stuff that I'm gonna take out there to my second apartment. Uh, that way I don't have to buy all new stuff. But I don't know, I think I like it zipped up. It's cute zipped. <sighs> You see. Very right, cool. And then, girl, you know I'm a day drinker. I like to day drink. I don't know, I'm grown. It just, you know, makes the day a little bit better. So don't judge me. <laughs> you can't. Dollar, Dollar General, I don't know. I can't remember where I went and I seen it. I think it was Walmart though, for sure. But, yeah, water. And I'm gonna take, and then I'm gonna take my dog's little water bowl. 
pops in and out. I'm just going to put that in my purse. Um, I'm actually going to clip it since there's a clip on it. Clip it here so I'm going to go in my purse looking for it. Um, oh yeah, shout out, baby. Thank you for the new purse. I think I've showed y'all this purse before. I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this purse. Baby got it for me. It is so nice. I love it. This is my Aaron's purse. My little my purse that I have, my DG purse that I bought. Um, I'd use that purse to go out and stuff. And this purse is my Aaron's purse since it's so big. I like to run errands with it. But yeah. And girl, I have two different cups. So. So I have. Um, I have two different cups. I have my water cup. And then I have my drinking cup. And girl, I'm a day drinker. I love me some Modelo. So I'm actually going to pour me some Modelo in here. We're adults. You know, adulting is difficult. And it's just a beer. I've laid off, you know, the hard liquors. I only do hard liquor when I'm with my man. And we're trying to have a Henny and Chill night. I'm actually going to... I don't know if I want to double it up or take another one with me. I'm going to double it up because I have a lot of errands to run today and I don't want to run out of my beer. Okay. So I'm going to just double it up a little. Swap it off. <laughs> don't judge. I still got my water and I'm very healthy actually. And it's actually two. It's like two o'clock. What is that? What time is it? It's two. So it's totally time to drink. Okay. Plus, I'm going to go get my nails chopped down. Not because of black china. I'm getting my nails cut because, girl. I just, I'm a massage therapist, you know what I mean? I do things. I honestly got my long nails because my guy likes long nails. And um, so I really just got them for him, just, you know, for the time being. I really didn't know they had so much beer in them. I am alcoholic now. I didn't realize one beer would fill it up that much. Oh, is there still a lot? Oh, there's only a little bit in this one. Okay. Got my beer. Got my water. Got my dogs. Oh, y'all, I have a big surprise. Camila's getting pregnant. Look at her. Look. Tell him. Tell him. My name is Camila the Diva, and I am on my period. And my pH balance is good and my levels to get pregnant are at an eight and they're spiking and Papa Kyra how do you feel about becoming a dad yeah how you feel Cause I know you're not ready for it. you're not ready huh are you gonna kill your babies are you gonna sick your babies are you gonna kill them you gonna beat them up you gonna sick them up you gonna, you gonna sick them you gonna eat your babies you better, no, 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 I was joking. Don't eat your baby. Don't. No, 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 no. We're not going to eat the babies, okay? All right, thank you. No. Thank you. Omar, they're crazy. All right, girl, let's go. Hey, y'all, so I made it to the lake with my dogs. It's such a vibe. I love it. It's so cute. Look, they have actual they have actual ducks and stuff. I think that's so cute. It's a vibe. And it's just something to bring my dogs. Y'all loving it? It's a cute vibe. I need to get out of 
the grass with my damn Tim's on. I mean, with my <laughs> with my Nikes. I'm talking about Tim's. They are flourishing for sure. I'm sure they love it. Girl, I know my hair looks crazy. The wind is blowing. <laughs> but look at the ducks. They just like right there just staring at us and shit. My dogs. They are loving being outside right now like this. I've never been to a lake like this with them because there's always a lot of people. But I'm really glad I found this lake because there's like literally no one here. And they behave so good. Look at Amar over there laying down and shit. It's a nice lake. The grass is really green. It's hey, Poppy. What's up, my man? Hey, Mila. Are y'all happy? Yes, you're happy. This lake is nice. And Mara's over there. You see her in the shade, just chilling. <laughs> next to the tree this must mean that they had a good time i'm loving it <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and take them back to go to the car and finish running the rest of my errands hey girl so i'm about to get ready to go to pin stack so i'm gonna throw on the outfit that i showed y'all that i got from dtlr and i haven't been to pin stacks in a while so i'm a little bit excited i love playing arcade games I'm going to take a shot of this douce before I go. But girl, let me take this outfit off. Always make sure to hang up your clothes. You don't want a dirty closet. I used to always just throw my clothes on the floor, but not no more, girl. Not no more. <clears throat> Alright, sis. So, this is how the outfit came out that I bought from DTLR. I think it came out pretty cute. y'all right, so i'm headed to take camila to go see if she's able to get pregnant look at her she's ready to go let's go girl girl like a hot mess i already know but girl tell me why we are getting camila inseminated today <laughs> she's over there um getting cairo is getting her pregnant she's on her heat and so i've always wanted them to have puppies and um, we tested her levels. Her levels were really high. And they were at a 10. They went from a 3 at 8 to a 10. And um, <clears throat> so she's basically ready to get pregnant. And girl, they are over there jacking off Cairo to inseminate her with his sperm. And then they're going to put it in her. I just can't watch this. Like, it's, it's over here. I just can't watch it. Like, I just cannot watch it. It just seems like a little bit like I'm um, his mom. Like, what? <laughs> can I watch him do that? They have to jack him off into a bag and then inseminate the sperm into her. And girl, that is weird. Like, super weird. I'm gonna stay in the car and wait till they're done. I just walked over there. Girl, his thing was in a bag. They're violating my baby. Oh my god. But he needs to do what he needs to do. He needs to make mama some money because... <laughs> Thank you.
soon, honeys. So I am headed to Kroger's to go and get me some food to cook. <coughs> My pregnant homegirl was supposed to come, but some issues happened. I guess they couldn't find parking and it kind of irritated me because I came back home early from out of town just to help her out. <coughs> So the fact that she left all, well, her guy got irritated and threw a little temper tantrum and left all because he couldn't figure out where to park, which really irritated my soul because it's like you could have called me and I would have came down and got you. I thought, cause you have a, you're supposed to have a man with you. I thought y'all could figure it out together and he could help you get your stuff up here into the apartment. I left my door unlocked. I'm gonna be in my restroom. Y'all aren't even gonna see me when he comes in. So that just irritated me that you got a whole man with you and y'all couldn't figure it out. I'm tired of acting like I'm a man. I'm having. I'm tired of having to be the, the dominant, always have to be the dominant one and, and lead people. I want to be around people that can lead me. Like, I'm so tired of like, and I know y'all like, wait, bitch, you said that was your homegirl. That is my homegirl, but it's like, why do you always like act, you do weird stuff. Like she does this weird stuff all the time. And it's just irritating, but whatever. You know what I mean? I just sat here and waited for you. But it's cool. I'm going to go ahead and go grocery shopping. And I'm going to cook for my damn self. And hopefully my boo thing comes through. We kind of got into it too. Not nothing serious. Just like some little, you know, simple stuff. But I was just a little irritated with him. I'm going the wrong way. But it's okay. I'll reroute. So girl. <sighs> A little irritated a little irritated but it's cool I'm gonna cook for myself hopefully my guy comes through and eat um, and then I'm gonna do my extensions so this is mainly like a maintenance day I do my own maintenance mainly because like why am I really gonna pay somebody three four hundred dollars to do my hair when I could do it myself. Why am I really gonna pay somebody three, two hundred two to three hundred dollars to do my eyelashes when I can do them myself? Literally. So most of my maintenance I do myself. I do my own wax. I do a lot of my maintenance myself. Like literally you go you go pay eighty dollars for a bikini wax and the jar of wax literally only costs fifteen dollars. And you could do it yourself and the same pain that you're gonna feel when she does it for you you're gonna feel the same pain but it's just you're gonna be doing it yourself but it's not even that painful like once you get through that first step of doing your own waxes and feeling that pain like literally it's not even that bad like it's just rip 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 you don't have to do big areas you can do it small like little by little by little and by the time you get that done the next growth it'll be easier and it gets easier and easier and then you save so much money you from spending $80 every two weeks or however often you go to get a wax you're now only going to be spending $15 a month because that wax is going to last you at least a month unless you're just like a hairy ass biatch then it might last you like a little bit, a little bit less and then girl I started my cycle so no penis for me this weekend but girl this mouth still work <laughs> I know that's right <laughs> I'm a cancer. It's not even just about me being pleased. I gotta make sure you're pleased. So, girl, that's another trick how I get to keep my men. Like, if I'm on my Piriana, I'm gonna make sure that Throw Baby is putting it down on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> girl, and I'm a little freaky too, so. <laughs> You know, there's other, but there's other holes that work. <laughs> I'm a little experimentative. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that out loud, but I, oh well, I'm my home girl, so we talk about these things. <laughs> judge me, judge me if you want to. I got a little freaking, freaking nigga. I got a little freaking nigga. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna knock out all of my errands that I need to run before everything starts closing. 
and this traffic is horrible. I'm not even looking forward to coming back home. Y'all need to quit moving to Dallas. Like, go somewhere else. There's other places to go. There's other places to go. It's not this exit. It's the next exit to Kroger's. I wish Kroger's was like 20 minutes away. I like to drive far. I like to sometimes just pick a different place to go shop so I can drive farther. But I'm hungry right now. So we're going to go ahead and stop and get something to eat. They have the sushi. So I haven't ate all day. So honestly, girl, I'm honestly going to stop and grab me something to eat first. And then go grocery shopping. Because I'm not going to be able to sit there and happily grocery shop while I'm hungry. It's not going to work that way. And y'all be asking me what cameras do I use to film. Y'all ask me that like all the time. Girl, I use three different cameras to film, literally. I have a big old camera that I use for my details, like when I want to zoom into things or when I'm having a sit down and I'm just talking. And then I have my everyday action, my action camera, which is my everyday camera. And then I have my waterproof camera, which I use for cam, which I use for like shower shots, or like it's about to be the summertime. So, girl, we finna be getting in the pool. We finna be getting in the pool. Um, <clears throat> I use it for shower shots and you know, the car. Um, I use this camera for my car because it's smaller, um, and you could just prop it up. Um, so I use it for the car for wide angle views and mainly just the car and the pool and water is what i use this camera for because obviously it's waterproof and it's very easily mountable um, my action everyday camera is you know it's a handheld um, so i use that for you know whenever y'all see me turning the camera and stuff but i might list my cameras down below i don't usually like to give away my secrets girl um because a ninja never gives away their secrets so i may not even tell y'all like um what cameras i'm using but i use three different ones so yeah i have one it's a two thousand dollar camera i have another one it's honestly girl just a four hundred dollar camera and then my waterproof camera is only was only a three hundred dollar camera so all together i have Seven twenty seven nine. I have three thousand dollars worth of equipment as far as recording, and somebody stole my light. I still don't know who did it, but it's weak that somebody did it because I don't think I threw it away. I would never throw away a headlight, but yeah, girl, somebody threw away my light. I mean, somebody stole my light, but I'm not even tripping because it's literally only thirty bucks. So you must have needed it more, but it's cool. I'm gonna buy another one. It's cool. You can have it. I'm gonna get another one. Oh girl, let's get up in here and let's do some grocery shopping. It's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.